Prime Minister Wa Al Halaki conducted an inspection tour of the site where the terrorist explosion in Mazda 86 took place last Monday, which killed and wounded scores of citizens, including women and children. Dr. Al Halaki was briefed on the bulk of material damages caused by the blast, which left houses and shops cracked or collapsed and public utilities disrupted. He said the maintenance workshops will get the damaged infrastructure required as quickly as possible and will work to meet citizens' needs of shelters pending the reconstruction of their houses. Terrorists targeted this morning Mazda 86 residential neighborhood with mortar shells causing the martyrdom of three citizens and the injury of seven others including women. One mortar shell hit a house while the other fell on a bus in the neighborhood. The relatives of the martyrs and the wounded branded the terrorist act that targeted innocent civilians as cowardly, reflecting the reality of the criminals who are supported by foreign forces and seek to deal a blow to Syria because of the latter's principled stands that reject Zionist and American hegemony on the region. Eleven citizens fell martyrs and dozens injured, mostly women and children, following a car bomb explosion yesterday evening at Al Wurud neighborhood in Damascus countryside. Terrorists blew up a car bomb and two explosives at Al Wurud neighborhood in Damascus, claiming the lives of 11 martyrs and injuring tens of the innocents in the area, some of them in critical condition. A source in Al Muassad Hospital told Sana that the hospital received six bodies of the martyrs and 29 others injured due to the terrorist explosions, most of them children and women. The source added that some of the injured were in critical condition and they were given the first aid. A source in Yusuf Al Azma Hospital stated that it received five martyrs in addition to 28 persons injured. Their conditions range between middle and critical. Sana reported at the site of the explosions declared that the terrorist act led to grave damages in the houses of citizens, destruction of number of cars, in addition to huge damages in the infrastructure, service, telephone and electric networks. A terrorist group has assassinated Jad Abad Madhwa who works at Damascus countryside court in front of his house in Barza, Damascus. The explosive device that would that was glued to his car blew up with a remote control device causing his immediate martyrdom.